has become a little harder to define the difference between duvet and a comforter because the words are used interchangeably. In fact, some dictionaries include the word comforter in the entry as a synonym, but in fact, the two pieces of bedding are not the same. Before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click on the post notifications to get instant updates on my videos. Duvets tend to be warm but surprisingly lightweight. A big distinction is that a duvet is designed to be shoved inside a cover. It's also quilted. A duvet usually comes plain and is not cute. That's why with duvets you need to buy duvet covers. These come in a lot of different designs of your choice and is quite affordable. So the duvet doesn't necessarily get dirty because it always has a cover. You can clean the covers more frequently than you actually clean the duvet itself. A duvet is a smart option if you treat your bed like you change your clothes. Duvet covers can be inexpensive and are easy to store, so you can have a stockpile of the designs you like in your closet. The downside of a duvet is that a lot of sheet sets come with duvet covers, so you do have to invest in accessories when you buy a duvet. You can also find changing covers to be difficult, but most covers these days come with ties on the inside corners to keep your duvet in place. However, it's still not the strongest ones that are matched for dreaded duvet drifts. Within a week or two, you're gonna wake up with the bulk of your bedding lumped down toward one side. Comforters tend to be usually flatter. They may need to be layered with blankets during cold weather. They have a thick, soft, quilted blankets with insulated fillings inside usually has a down or comparable alternative like the duvet and can come in plain white or in colorful prints. They're basically designed to be used right out of the box so you don't need to buy accessories like duvet covers but you also can't which could be a downside for people that like changing covers for a different feel. Comforters are typically sold in bedding sets or bed in a bag sets with other coordinating pieces such as sheets and pillow shams, all being in the same bed size. This means that they are meant to be final piece. So they are not meant to be covered with anything or with additional accessories. This makes decorating a bed very simple. So if you don't like changing covers for a duvet, comforters would be an easy choice for you. However, there's a downside of a comforter. It's not a good choice if you like changing your bedding often. And the comforter can usually start to wear down. And when that happens, it'll need to be replaced. But you may not be able to find the same one, leaving you with a mismatched set. Some are machine washable, but many are dry clean only. So if you use dry clean, you may be stuck with an expensive bill from the cleaners. There are some similarities between a comforter and a duvet. The similarities are the two both work as the same thing. They are a fluffy and thick blanket. They both should be aesthetically pleasing, with or without the cover, as they will most likely be visible main feature on your bed. The differences in a comforter and duvet is that a comforter is supposed to be used as is and a duvet is supposed to be used with a duvet cover, coverlet or top quilt. A duvet might be warmer as well because it's meant to be used with or without additional sheets or blankets, although you can add them if you wish. I hope this helps you clear up your understanding between a duvet and a comforter to make your choice.